ha, ha. On a future build, would you ever consider dropping in a crate electric motor? You bet. There's certain cars that the engines were crap anyway. That I'm thinking about um, my brother is uh, restoring an old Fiat. I'm not, I think the Fiat body styles were wonderful. I'm not sure about the engines until they got to Abarth. Yo, can you make this real quick? I mean, take it. Give me a couple tacks. Remember the whole cooling of the battery thing? I do remember that, yes. It's a, it's a combination of a few things. And since Tim has a Tesla, we can use his VIN to buy the parts. I was wondering what you were doing that for. No shit. Yeah. So we're, we're basically going to just take the what Tesla uses and do the same thing, because the more research we did, the more problems we found with this system overheating. Sorry, I'm here. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> well, they're cooled with a... Uh, I, I can't pronounce the name, so I'm not going to try to. Okay. It's called like a glycos okay. fluid, something like that. Ken can pronounce it. I'm terrible at trying to pronounce it. Ken, what are you working on? I am building a bracket, which is going to hold the reservoir oh, and the pump that will cool down the controllers. Where is it going to be located? So uh, we're going to put this on the passenger side frame rail. So when we mount it, it'll be mounted just like this. So that way the uh, site here is vertical, and then where you can fill or prime from the top. So there's a chill box that the AC lines run through. And there's two pumps that pumps the fluid through. And you have valves that open and close that either heat the batteries up when need be, because they can't be too cool, or cools it when they're too hot. Oh. <clears throat> I didn't realize that they couldn't, they cannot operate at a cool temp, or will that like crack the casing? Yeah, thing? they cannot, they do not like too cold a temp, which is basically below 40 degrees. Interesting. So, I mean, basically what we've found out is you don't want to run them, you know, like, he, he won't want to take it to ski season in Colorado, you know, when it's 30 degrees or 20 degrees, you know. Yeah. It won't like it. I mean, it will because we'll put the heaters on it, but, and then plus, it'll even work when the car is sitting there. So like if he drives it to set, you know, on a hot day, yeah. it's 110 out and he pulls up, well, the cooling system will continue to cool it until they get sure. down to temp. Yeah, Nifty. that's what Teslas do. So, um, so we found all the parts we need. Uh, Ken's already been to Tesla. We just got the missing puzzle, piece of the puzzle, the VIN number. Now we can buy everything. And you need the VIN number I, because they won't sell just they typical won't sell. retail? Yeah. Nope. Got it. Nope. You have to have a car. Then they have a hotline. Pay a hundred bucks and you call them up and they'll answer any questions you have. With your car. Per question? Huh? Or per call? Per oh no. Per uh, question. Oh, you didn't ask questions last time when you gave us a hundred bucks? Uh, well, sorry, that was your hundred bucks. <laughs> Shit out of luck. <laughs> that would be my luck. Get this, I'm gonna kick his ass. Make sure you get this. <laughs> it's fucking nice and cool, huh? That looks really good. You just made that in like 40 minutes, man. That's cool. 
right? Plug it in. That's cool, huh? So are, is there going to be a radiator? Yeah. Is the radiator going to be the, is it, uh, is it going to be like a specialty electric vehicle radiator or like the, they're going to actually be a radiator that you would see on a combustion engine? Yes. Yes. To the last part. Yes. Got it. So what yeah. is that radiator going to cool then? This one? It's going to cool uh, the batteries. Got it. Yeah. We're talking to CNR right now, so possibly they'll do a cross flow. With the cross flow, you can get a much smaller radiator that'll cool really good. And then we'll have one big fan on the back, and then you'll have the condenser right here as well for the AC. Yeah. So it will look like a conventional car. If you're walking by it, you're like, oh, look at this thing. What kind of motor you got in this yeah. bad boy? Very you know cool. what I mean? When you say cross flow, hey, my guess would be because it will, you can go from both directions. It'll basically work from both directions. What does cross flow mean? Cross flow means you're gonna get a lot more uh, fluid running through than a regular radiator. Okay. That's, that's, ultimate. that's an easier way to say Perfect. it. You're gonna get a lot more fluid and you're gonna get a lot more cooling. Perfect. Okay. Got it. So when you're pulling the cool air through a cross flow, you, get, you just get Got a lot it. more cooling. I, I think it's really gonna, change antique rides. They're going to be great to drive. You know, you put in modern steering suspension on like, a, like an old Stutz or a Mercer or some of these old cars that they've, you've taken all the maintenance out of it, but you've got the beauty, the beauty and the substance of an old design.